Aurora here. Happy New Year! I know it's been a few months since I've uploaded anything, but with the move and holidays and all that stress, it's been kind of crazy. But I'm excited to bring you this video today because it's been something I've been hoping to be able to do for quite a while, and that is having my very own reptile room. So this room, this space that I'm in right now, this is dedicated reptile space. And right now it's full of snakes that will probably continue to be for quite some time, but I have ideas for other reptiles I'd like to get in the future. But uh, for now it houses mostly boa constrictors, a couple of ball pythons, and my old corn snake. So I'm going to give you a little tour now. Keep in mind that there's a lot of improvements and stuff to come to this room in the very near future and distant future. And with that said, let's get to the tour. <laughs> So this rack houses three boa constrictors and a bunch of supplies and different things. So first here is Rose wanting to get out always because she is a little bit too big for this enclosure. I admit I have an upgrade for her, I just need to get a couple more things for it and that will be ready. So she will be upgraded next. She's priority number one. So she's doing great otherwise, she gets a lot of outside time, and she is just an absolute joy of a snake. I love this girl so much. I can't wait to get her in a bigger, nicer enclosure so I can see her better. So then below her we have Mr. Desert Ross. Let's see, I'll open up his cage here. There's a Ross hiding. Where's your head? There it is. So the little bump on his nose is doing much better. It's uh, gone down a lot, so at this point it's just kind of an aesthetics thing. So I am going to get him in for surgery for that, but it's not a super high priority because he is doing just fine otherwise. I have uh, big plans for all of these enclosures. It's just, you know, a matter of time. <laughs> but they are happy and healthy and that is the main thing. That is Desert Ross. Down below him, this is Orion. There's my pretty boy. Isn't he gorgeous? Very nice and dark. Super iridescent. Look at that. Oh, he is just gorgeous. A little pretty boy. <laughs> So uh, he had some respiratory infection kind of things going on too, and that seems to be uh, all healed up. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> Beautiful boy. And moving on over here to the baby rack. When we first moved in, there was a big cabinet on the wall here. But it just didn't fit my plans for this room, so Jordan helped me remove it. You ready to see some baby snakes? <laughs> Let's start with the ball pythons. Top one is Jordan's snake. This is the snake formerly known as Diane, or currently known as Diane, or just Diane. <laughs> She is a beautiful little pastel ball python, pet candy. And she's a shy little girl, so I'm not going to bug her, but uh, she needs a bigger hide. I mean, she has a big hide, but she needs a bigger small hide. <laughs> she's a very good girl. And below her... This is Ralph. Ralph, oh, it's been all the sticks. There we go. Ralph is in his big hide. Ralph is a sweet little normal head candy male ball python. And he is as sweet as a snake can be. And he actually likes to hang out and explore with you more like a boa constrictor than a typical ball python, which is pretty neat. 
so he's a good little snake. All right, I'm just gonna. Through the magic of editing, the bin is now closed. Let's take a look at Tempest. You know he is a favorite, certainly of mine. Let's see where he's at. There's a gorgeous little boy. Look at that beautiful snake. He is growing like a weed. When he is an adult, all of that dark coloration around those circles will be black. So he is going to be an incredible looking snake. I mean, he is now. But oh boy, it's going to be fun to watch him develop. <laughs> Subscribe and you can watch too. Alright, let's close him up and move on to the next snake. Next up is the resident senior citizen of the room, my 15 year old corn snake, Nathara. She is just about ready to go into shed here. Uh, she just hit the end of her blue cycle, so she may shed tonight or tomorrow. So usually she's a little bit brighter. But you can see her enclosure here. Oh, I made a little clicking sound there. Weird. You can see her enclosure here. <laughs> and there are different snake supplies and things in the drawers. If you want to see in the drawers, let me know and I'll show you in a future video. <laughs> Moving on over here, you can see the closet. And this beautiful guy here, my dad bought this guy for me. I think I'm going to name him Woody off of a suggestion from a reptile group that I'm part of, which I thought was really cute. So thank you for that name suggestion. I think Woody is great. I should get him a little cowboy hat. So you can see he's a rattlesnake. And he is carved out of a solid piece of cedar, I believe. So very cool. <laughs> then below him, we have my type 2 anerythristic ghost. And she doesn't have a name. I was calling her Luna. Let's see if we can get a view of her. There she is. Oh, she is going into shed as well. All blue. But as you can see, she is a beautiful gray color, and she is that color anyway. So. Gorgeous snake. She will be a breeder for me next year. I really like this kind of cage. It's, uh, what is this, the NPI cages. Um, they're pretty pricey. I actually found this one on Craigslist and got a great deal on it. So I'm definitely always checking Craigslist for that kind of stuff. And I will be doing a full bioactive background setup and all of that with this cage eventually, which I'm really excited for, but I have to make some modifications and do some planning for that. And down below the beautiful ghost, we have Jupiter and Tiamat doing the uh, happy dance here, hopefully. Let's see if I can get a better look at it. I think he's starting to get the hang of things, but you know, I still haven't seen any super promising action, but there's still time. I've been rotating Jupiter and Desert Ross in with Tia, so hopefully one of them gets the job done. So I want to see some babies in the spring. And he is a big girl. I mean, she could have a lot of kids. So, wish me luck, guys. I'm doing everything by the book here. Now it's up to them. So, that concludes my little reptile room tour. This room is going to change a lot in the coming months and definitely coming years. Uh, I still have, yeah, tons of different plans. I have a different rack that I'm going to be putting in here um, that I don't have yet, but I have plans to get. And I have another, <laughs> another bigger rack system that holds tubs too. So 
it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy there's gonna be lots of new cages lots of new animals lots of cage upgrades it's this is gonna be fun so thank you for joining me on this channel and my journey and we'll see you again soon Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video real soon. Bye! Look at all this snow. So pretty. But now I have to go shovel it.